Amen. Whitney Freeman has been showing women their babies for years and sharing all the details. Because you can see that other little foot up there. At 14 weeks, oh this young mom's little one is crossing its ankles and sucking its thumb. That's legitimately thumb. That okay. is so funny. And most importantly, perhaps, its heart is beating. The new law went into effect September 1st, and it is already changing the way women in Texas approach abortion, as well as the way pro-life pregnancy centers are responding. I need to be able to get a heartbeat at five weeks, or they're not going to come back. For Freeman, the law means clients considering an abortion feel up against a deadline. If there's no heartbeat, it can encourage them to move forward. If I don't get a heartbeat, that is so much harder to get her to come back. We really have to be so intentional with her of why is she even here? Like, why is abortion on the table? If Freeman can find it, the conversation immediately shifts. If we do hear a heartbeat, then okay, so it's there. Now where are our options at? And then we can start having more of those conversations of what does parenting look like? What does placing for adoption look like? Pregnancy centers say the law is convincing some women who are on the fence to choose life. For those inclined toward abortion, the law has led to fear and desperation, especially when it first went into effect. Our phones were ringing off the hook with women who had never even taken a pregnancy test. They just were panicked that they might be pregnant. Reports from many of the state's almost 200 pro-life pregnancy centers cite a jump in demand for these tests, along with more calls, more women wanting to get in fast, and more cancellations. The big question that will take several months to answer is whether the law will actually increase the number of women who choose life. We have a very short window of time now, where before we would have, you know, up to the 10 week, 12 week mark. Now we have really less than six weeks to reach them. And that's a very quick turnaround. Center Director Michelle Gregory, who works in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, wonders why her clinic is seeing fewer clients considering an abortion. Are these women now moving quickly to get it without trying to weigh their options? We were seeing about a 40 percent number in abortion-minded women as far as our patients go, um, and now uh, that has dramatically decreased to probably around 10 percent. Those intent on getting an abortion are either heading out of state or buying medical abortion pills online. That particular choice worries Kyleen Wright, who's championed life here for more than 30 years. People don't realize that medical abortions have four times higher complication rates, and actually the abortion industry exploits that. Part of the problem, black market pharmacies. When you're buying these pills online, you don't know your source. You don't know what you're getting or where you're getting, you know, the quality of, of the pharmacy behind it. And many abortion advocates instruct women with complications from abortion pills to report them as symptoms of a miscarriage. So there is no reason that a person should disclose that they have taken pills. This strategy hides the danger of taking the pills while exaggerating pregnancy risks. For now, Texas pro-life pregnancy centers are ramping up. You know, we have to be agile and versatile and figure out, you know, and prayerful because ultimately I really don't know what even next month holds. The Preston Wood Center is fine-tuning messaging so that women know they can get immediate help. They're also expanding their free services and resources anticipating that as more women choose life, they're going to need help. There's also an effort to stay nimble, given challenges to the Texas law, plus the possibility that the Supreme Court overhauls or overturns the watershed Roe v. Wade case next year. But regardless of that uncertainty, these centers are working to change minds and hearts. I look forward to the day that abortion isn't just unattainable, 
But we have to get to a place where abortion is unthinkable in our nation. Well, Jameson sees a political challenge in making it unattainable, she believes it's a spiritual fight to make abortion unthinkable. Reporting in North Texas, Heather Sells, CBN News.